This episode of Chat Chow is brought to you by Johnson & Wales University, North Miami, the leader in culinary education. Stay tuned after the episode to learn a practical tip for the everyday foodie. Welcome to Chat Chow TV, an online weekly show interviewing the city's top food personalities. Today we're in Coral Gables at Pow Town. We're going to interview Carlos Larcada, the man behind its concept. Yeah, today we're drinking a, uh, a Tiger beer out of Singapore. It's a uh, well-balanced lager. Um, you know, one of my personal favorites on our uh, curated list here, small list. Um, you're having a sake sangria. It's a Junmai sake with uh, pomegranate and lychee juice, uh, some green tea and some oolong tea uh, blended with fig, uh, some more lychees, mango, and pineapple. Cheers, Cheers. first of all. Let's start with the philosophy. What's the philosophy behind Pow Town? You know, Pow Town really came out of um, food that everyone loves to eat. Uh, we like to joke here that it's the kind of food that you need to take into a corner, take your shirt off, and eat very privately. Oh, uh, interesting. You know, it's, it's an experience. You know, uh, you know, when you're taking in some sticky ribs and uh, that black vinegar sauce, you really need to. Uh, you know, it's a it's a private experience that you don't need anyone else knowing about. You guys have a cool vibe going, kind of like. Shake Shack like, you take a number, you've got the communal table, you've got the sexy ladies on the screens behind us. Yeah, no, uh, the sexy ladies are uh, Korean pop. Um, okay. There were videos that were actually pretty hard to get. Uh, most of them came from Malaysia. Uh, we really wanted a reclaimed look in the restaurant. Uh, you know, a lot of people go for that industrial, rustic look, and um, we did it for real. You know, th these tables came from restaurants that, that closed in the area, um, some of them from furniture that we didn't need anymore in our restaurants. Uh, some of the furnishings were already here. Uh, this was the original Canton space. I want to talk about the food, um, or as you guys like to call it. I mean, you have an eclectic um, kind of Asian fusion thing going on, and you guys call them the noms, right? The nom noms. The uh, nom 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 nom. <laughs> you know, and, and it goes back to that uh, kind of uh, the food that, that you just you love to eat, you know. And uh, we really wanted items that you can come for lunch with coworkers, uh, but you can also bring your lady on a Saturday night and not make her feel like you're like you're taking her to you know, grab and go chicken. Right, what are some of your favorite dishes? My favorite item on the menu is our sliders. Uh, okay. It's, a, it's an American Wagyu beef uh, from Snake River Farms in Washington. And uh, it's topped with hoisin caramelized onions and a wasabi ranch. Mm. And uh, the kicker though is the Hawaiian sweet roll that it's served on. Ooh. We saw more Brussels sprouts than anything else on the menu. Really? Uh, yeah, they're, they're wok tossed and um, served with a Thai chili sauce that, you know, it's just, I try to tell people that we don't use any crack in it. <laughs> but some of them believe me, some of them don't. Uh, but people come back every day for our Brussels sprouts. Uh, they're, they're fantastic. And your wings have a certain special kind of twist to them. Too. Yeah, you know, we, we want to dry wings. Um, we, you know, you, it's so easy to go out and get a, a big, saucy, messy, dirty wing. Uh, we wanted something that was a little more uh, easy to eat, but still, but, but just as nice. So uh, we, we got a, a great crispy texture, nice and moist on the inside, and we toss it in a, a cumin and black pepper mixture and serve it with a uh, steak sauce, actually. Now, one really cool thing was the soda machine. Where, what's, what's the story behind that? I mean, I guess you kind of go up to it and you know what they are based on colors. You know, but... most of them you know what they are. Some right. of them are controversial still. Um, it, <laughs> it, it took me a while. It took me a, a couple months to convince Coca-Cola to import uh, stickers from Beijing. It's a great little addition um, to the machine. It kind of gives a little more authenticity it to was, it. It was. It was a surprise. I kind of walked up like, oh, well, I guess I recognize them, right? You guys have um, open mic night, right? Is Every something... Thursday night. Every Thursday night. That's uh, pretty cool. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's a growing trend in Miami. Um, you know, people are starting to realize that there's a following for the, the homegrown talent that we have. We like to say talent is not required here. But uh, <laughs> for the most part, we've had uh -oh. some, some pr pretty great people here. We've had comedians. We've had, uh, you know, um, a jazz duet came in, and they play every Friday night here now. And Tuesdays, you guys have dollar beers? Dollar drafts. Dollar, dollar drafts. All of our drafts are one dollar every Tuesday, all day. Uh, we barely had any. But yeah, exactly. I want to thank you so much for your time. That was my pleasure. Thanks Final for coming cheers. by. Final cheers. Maybe I'll chug. <laughs> Hi, I'm Josie Morell, and I'm here at Johnson & Wales University talking to you about mise en place, which is putting everything in its place um, before you cook. I'm going to be blanching some broccoli, 
Now what you want to do is have all the broccoli pieces in the same size shape, uniform um, sizes. So I already cut some broccoli up. I have some broccoli already rolling in this boiling hot water. You only want to leave it in there for 30 seconds to a minute and you want to take it out and shock it in ice water. What that's going to do is it's going to stop the cooking process so you retain all the nutrients. The nutrients you can tell are in here because it's so green and vibrant. So there you have it, broccoli blanched and not blanched.